Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Baron here. We're going to be customizing the Xbox One Elite Series 2 controller. If you want to go and do this, and do what I'm doing right now, go over to your settings. Once you're in your settings, go to devices and streaming, click on accessories, and you'll have your controller there. Click configure. Once you've done that, set up a new profile. Once you've set that new profile, you can then begin to customize it. But it is Baron here, Aussie Gamer, Aussie Accent. If you are new to the channel, do not forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and hit that little bell to get all the notifications because that would really help if you really want to watch my content. But here we're going to get straight into it. We're going to change around the bumpers, as I said. So for the top two, I've changed those a couple of times and I sort of messed around with them where I made the top ones, I think it was the right bumper and the other one left bumper for the simple fact that yes you do have to move your fingers to get to your lethals and your non-lethals but I find this a little bit better and more effective to do this. So obviously being on the right side of the controller I'm going to set the right bumper, left side I'll set that to left bumper and once we've done these two I usually set one of the bottom ones up I think it's it should be the bottom it's either bottom left or bottom right it's one of them but I'll set one up to be uh, crouch so I usually set it up for crouch so that when you actually go and do it uh, click the command it will actually do what you want it to so by that what I mean is when you set it up for um, B it's going to be a lot quicker for you to click that bumper instead of going to B. I know that it's it's not as simple as it's not sounding as good as what I'm putting it out there as, and I just changed the wrong one. But what I mean is, you can just click that bumper. You can just bang smash it. You don't have to worry about going straight to the B button because I know it is a little bit of a movement from around that button pad. So I set that up for B on the left side, so you can just slide along, and I set the other one up for Y. So the Y or X, yes, Y. So I set it up for Y so that you can change weapons a little bit quicker because if you've got the two settings I've got, then it becomes a little bit easier. Those two arrows there, when you actually set it up for in-game, that is a hairpin trigger. You want to set that all the way down, all the way down, so it's a complete hairpin. You can change all the other settings. It's completely up to use, but I just like the settings the way I've got it. So I'm going to leave it like that. So... It's completely up to you whether you want to actually change the rest of those settings. Here's some gameplay though after I've actually modified this um, layout. And the reason I do this is because I get to talk to you a little bit more and I get to show you what it actually entails. So as you can see, I'm not really using anything too much now, but later on in the footage, you'll see that I'm actually changing weapons with the buttons. I'm sliding along the ground. I'm also using it a lot to ch uh, throw lethals and non-lethals just for the fact, like I said, it's simple, it's easy, it's there for you to use. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. It's just there to make your life a lot easier and that's what this controller is all about, is just making your life easier so that you don't have to mess around with the buttons as much as what you probably would and it, it stops you from dying as easily as what you probably most likely would in most circumstances which is what you do not want so that's why I've set up this this video and I'm going to be setting up a few more of them so you guys can check them out um, understand how to configure this controller and understand later on how you're actually going to configure it for yourself and learn all the settings in it because there are a lot of settings on this controller that you can change and to understand it in one video is not going to help so I just changed all the basic settings on the controller and I changed the hairpin obviously so that when you're in a FPS or a third person shooter you're not going to be pressing down that trigger to its full compression you're going to just be compressing it to like literally just touching the trigger and that's it now you can do this for a lot of games but for shooters it's probably more entailed to do that so that's where I suggest it most of the time because doing it for like a racing game it's not really going to um, you're not really going to need it obviously because it's a shooter uh, it's a racing game sorry and yeah you want to actually be able to control your accelerator as well as what you would usually but that's pretty much been the video for today guys I hope you did enjoy it. it's been Baron Aussie Game Aussie Accent do 
not forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. That would greatly help. And hit that bell to get all the notifications. But anyway, guys, that has been Baron. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching.